We're going to do these four examples of evaluating the linear transformation of a vector. These are linear transformations in Rn, so each one is given by a standard matrix. We will write our answers in matrix form, so we'll transform each vector by carrying out matrix multiplication. Let's get into it. Here's our first example where the transformation is given by this standard matrix. It is a 2 by 2 matrix, and we're going to use it to transform this 2 by 1 vector x. So we write it like this, Ta of this vector. This is the transformation defined by this standard matrix applied to this vector. We carry this out by taking the standard matrix and multiplying on the left by the vector. So standard matrix on the left, input vector on the right, then we can just do the matrix multiplication. We'll have the first row matched up with the first column, which is going to give us 4 minus 6, and then we will have the second row matched up with that first column, which is going to give us 12 minus 12. And there it is. It simplifies, of course, to this vector in R squared. So this transformation maps the vector 4, negative 3 into the vector negative 2, 0. Here's our second example in purple. The transformation is defined by this standard matrix, and we're going to use it to transform this vector in R cubed. We write it like this, Ta of the input vector. Then the input vector is going to get multiplied on the left by the standard matrix for the linear transformation. Now we just have to carry out the matrix multiplication to see what the image of this vector is under the transformation. Matching up the first row with the first column would produce 8 plus 0 minus 9. That 8 minus 9 gives us negative 1. And then matching up the second row with this column would give us 2 plus 2 plus 15, which is where we get that 19 from. So this transformation takes the vector 2, 1, negative 3 and maps it on to the vector negative 1, 19. In this example, we're transforming an arbitrary vector from R cubed rather than a specific vector. Here is the standard matrix for the transformation being applied. It is a 3 by 3 matrix. So we write Ta of the arbitrary input vector, and we're going to multiply this input vector by the standard matrix on the left to carry out the transformation. Once we start doing the multiplication, we're going to end up having negative 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 1x3 as the first entry, and then we'd have 5x1 plus 8x2 minus 2x3 as the second entry, and so on. Carrying all that out, we get this column vector as a result. Keep in mind, even though this looks kind of big, it is a 3 by 1 matrix. There is only one entry in each of these rows. So now, if we had the specific components of any particular vector in our cubed, we could just plug those components into this general transformed vector in order to get the image of that vector under this transformation. Finally, number four is similar. I'll paste the answer on screen now, so pause if you want to do it yourself. Here is the answer. We are again transforming an arbitrary vector, this time from R squared, and this is the standard matrix for the transformation. So we multiply the arbitrary input vector by the standard matrix on the left, and we would end up getting 1x1 plus 2x2, seen there, and then minus 3x1 plus 1x2, seen there, and so on for that final entry. Again, this has only one column. There is one entry in each row. It is a 3 by 1 matrix. If we had the specific components of a particular vector, we could plug them in to the x1 and x2 variables here in order to see what the image of the vector would be under this transformation. But of course, we could always just multiply by the standard matrix as well, if we prefer. So those are a few examples of using a standard matrix to carry out a transformation and how to write it all in matrix form. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus, I'm the V to the T, my parameter the rapidest, happens like this, my lectures the most prominent, dominant, call me the Morgan, I get the compliments, the union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need